Everyone, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Village uh, July 12th, 2018 Village Board meeting. And at this time, I'd like to ask everybody to please stand for the pledge, remain standing for a moment of silence for armed forces serving throughout the world. I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. First up tonight's minutes, so I could have a uh, motion to accept the minutes of our meeting held June 28, 2018. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Des, can you please read abstract number three? Abstract number three contains vouchers 18.0221 through 18.0299, and it totals $557,650.05. Thank you. You're welcome. Motion to approve abstract number three. Make that motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 We have some budget modifications this evening. So could I have a motion to approve a $735,066 budget modification, general fund, various departments, per clerk Potvin's memo, dated July 5th. I'll make the motion. I'll, I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve a $10,099 budget modification for consolidated water, per clerk Potvin's memo, dated July 5th. Make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve a $5,136 budget modification for water number six, which is Amda Park, per Clerk Potvin's memo dated July 5th. Make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve a $15,170 budget modification for consolidated sewer per Clerk, Potvin, per Clerk Potvin's memo dated July 5th. Make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve a $5,807 budget modification for sewer number one, Valley Forge, per Clerk Potvin's memo dated July 5th. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve a $307,243 budget modification for highway department per Clerk Potvin's memo dated July 5th. I just want to point out that number is high because it also recognizes the receipt of the 200 and something dollar grant we got from uh, Assemblyman Scoofus for the highway department. Make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 A copy of the memos can be found on our website. Okay, next up, motion to approve fire department equipment request 2018 17, totaling approximately $91 for badges. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to approve fire department equipment request 2018-18, totaling approximately $2,422.35 for pages, pager charges, batteries, and pager programs. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve fire department equipment request 2018-19, totaling approximately $120 for pager labeling. I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve equipment request 2018-20, totaling approximately $7,897.50 to purchase power unit, adapters, and new ho hoses. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 We 
We have a membership application, so I could have a motion to accept the application for membership to the Highland Mills Fire Company for Joseph Roccasino, pending physical. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Old business. Uh, Des, can you please read the notice? Uh, bid notice for janitorial services for village offices was printed in the Times Herald Record on June 19, 2018. The bid opening was held at 10 a.m. on July 2, 2018, and the following bid was received. We received one from DOC Cleaning out of Highland Mills at the amount of $750 per month. Thank you. Uh, it should be noted that currently the village pays an individual $400 per month to service supply just village hall. This bid will also include the highway and the water and sewer offices, bathrooms, common areas, no bays. It also includes the cost of all supplies. Uh, the woman that used to do this for us resigned, so that's why we're doing this now. Uh, we talked uh, briefly about the possibility of uh, hiring somebody that they could do other things around, but I, I figure for $750 a month, this is a good deal. This is something, it's a two-year deal. And, you know, in the meantime, if we feel it's not working out, we could always go to hiring a person. But, I mean, if we had to hire somebody, it, it would cost us easily, you know, depending if they're full-time or part-time, uh, it would probably cost us about at least 20000 with benefits and everything like that. So I personally think this is a good deal. At least uh, let's give it an opportunity to see if it works out. Plus I'll it'll I'm sorry, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was just going to say, of course, it's a good chunk of that $750 a month just for the supplies alone for all three of those facilities. So. Correct. And I also, uh, the town of Monroe recently did this similar <laughs> bid, um, and they only received one bid as well. And I was told the same happened when the county did a janitorial bid also. I haven't confirmed that, but that's what I was told from the town clerk of Monroe when I spoke to her. Yeah. So could I have a motion to accept the bid and authorize me to sign an agreement with DOC cleaning in the amount of $750 per month for the cleaning of the village hall, highway, water and sewer offices, bathrooms, and common areas, no vehicle bays, and all supplies, paper, goods associated. This bid is for a period of July 2018 through May 31st, 2020. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 New business. Uh, relevy, uh, Desiree, um, relev we have a resolution to relevy on previously exempt properties. So can I have a motion to adopt the resolution to relevy the tax amount on properties presented? We didn't present any properties, though. Do we have any? I'll make that motion. I can explain it if you want. Yeah. Just, just as a remi reminder, sorry, <coughs> Trustee Krause, I, I know you made the motion, but just as a reminder for clarification, these are properties that previously were owned by an individual who was eligible for some type of an exemption, whether it be veterans or age or, or whatnot, and they have either um, moved or passed away and the ownership has changed hands, which makes the relevy of the difference for the current owner on the 2019-20 fiscal year, which would be mail June 2019, and that's what these properties are. We get them from time to time. The assessor's office just gave me a whole bunch this month, so that's why we're doing a bulk one right now. Okay, I'll second Trustee Krause's motion. Okay, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> okay, we have a few resolutions about grants, so I'm going to ask for a motion to adopt a resolution to authorize a grant application for the uh, Pleasant Drive water main replacement project to be submitted. Make the motion. Second. Any discussion? I did. We're, we, we, we were going we to go out for this for total, I believe, with taxpayers who are going to pay for this. Oh, with a, sorry? Well, if, if we don't get the grant, yeah. yes. Yeah, we, we don't get the grant, but, but we were, we had already put this, put in, if we get the grant. We, that, Neil, we bonded this. But, I, oh, I mean bonding it, but. Right. Uh, if we get the grant, that would that would take care of the uh, saving the taxpayers paying on the bond. Yeah, yeah if we correct. if we grant get the grant, then the money that we re received in the bond would be used to pay the bet the, the bond principal down. Correct. Okay. Thank you. So there's going to be three of them. So it's all the same. We're applying for grants for for projects we already bonded for. 
So hopefully we get the grants and we won't have to spend the bond money saving the taxpayers money. So um, we have a yes. motion and a second. Any more discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, next up, a motion to adopt a resolution to authorize a grant application for the new well supply source along Troutbrook Road to be submitted. Make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion to adopt a resolution to authorize a grant application for elevating well house number one to be submitted. Make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Copies of the resolutions can be found on our website. Okay, last up, advertising for bids. Uh, purchase of a water sewer truck. So I need a motion to authorize the village clerk to advertise for bids for a new 2018 Dodge 3500 regular chassis cab 4x4 with a dump body for the water and sewer department. Make that motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that concludes our business for this evening. So with that, I'm going to go out to the public. Anybody in the uh, second row? <coughs> really should just do roll call. Sandy Capriglione, Central Valley. Um, I just have a question on those the um, grants. So that'll all be under the Consolidated Funding Grant app. I didn't hear the question. Yes. yes. <laughs> I didn't hear, hear the question. Um, the the three grants that you spoke of. Right. Uh, they'll they'll all be um, applied for under the Consolidated Funding Grant app. Yes. Has that been? It's, that in the, it's in the process of being done right now. Okay, that was my question. And then, as far as the elevating wellhouse number one, where is wellhouse number one? It's behind the water and sewer building. Okay. That's it. Thank that, you. That area gets flooded from time to time. That's why we want to elevate the well ounce. Okay. Thanks. Anybody else in the second row? Anybody in the third row? Uh, John Smith, Highland Mills. I believe at the last uh, village board meeting, uh, there was a question or something on the agenda about uh, zoning for the senior housing area on Route 32. And if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Queen and you uh, had some reservations about that. And I don't know, uh, is it still under consideration? Is it uh, being discussed in maybe an executive session, attorney-client privilege or something like that? Uh, but we don't know what your reservations are or what other board members might have, uh, but I certainly would hope that they would all be clarified before any vote was taken. Well, number one, uh, there's no executive sessions concerning this, okay? None at all. Um, we have scheduled a public hearing. I mean, actually, the project itself seems like a good idea. My concerns are the traffic, because we have Timber Ridge right across the street. And my biggest concern is the Hollett pump station. Uh, the Hollett pump station is basically at full capacity right now. So uh, putting any kind of development in there with uh, like 80 units would probably put a strain on that pump station. I've asked our village engineer to be here for the public hearing. So he can comment on that. I'm going to have the water and sewer superintendent here for that meeting. I'm going to have them speak before the public speaks. So the public will have that information available to them when they get up and they ask questions. I mean, uh, the project is for active adults, 55 and older. I believe it's like 80 units. It's going to be rentals. And uh, on the surface, it looks like a good project. But it, it is has some potential problems for our infrastructure. And I'm not too keen about having another traffic light on 32 uh, in Woodbury here now. I think we have enough traffic lights. So those, those are my main concerns. Right. I mean, there might, other people might have, might have other concerns, but those are my concerns. Right. Thank you. Okay. And I think just to add to that, I believe the public hearing is scheduled for August 26th. No, 
No, it's scheduled for July 26th. I'm sorry, July 26th. Which is the next meeting. Yeah, I know. Was, I'm getting my month straight. That's okay. all right. Anybody else in the third round? <coughs> Ray Hernandez, uh, uh, Highly Mills. <clears throat> um, just wanted to get some information on the board as to the progress or information uh, concerning the Central Valley Firehouse. Um, I know there was some talks on the community page and Mr. Egan was kind enough to clarify um, who was responsible for taking down the, um, the uh, sign that was on the building. Uh, and there's a lot of rumors going around in the community that the Central Valley Firehouse is being used as, ju as just a storage uh, building um, and uh, no fire apparatus is coming out of that building. Um, so if I could just get an update um, sure. so I'd the be residents happy to can know. Clarify a couple of those points for you. If That's good. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, uh, just to reiterate what was discussed on that Families of Woodbury page that you're referring to in my comments, uh, uh, therein. Um, the Central Valley Fire Company is owned by the Central Valley Fire Company, not by the Woodbury Fire Department or by the district, as we know, as we both know. Uh, the Highland Mills Fire Company building is also known as Village Hall. It's a village-owned building. Uh, so with regard to the letters coming down off the building, there were some things thrown around that the mayor had had those letters removed and things of that nature. Has nothing to do with the village, had nothing to do with the village board. That was a decision made by the Central Valley Fire Company, as we were told, uh, and it had to do with the fact that the letters were literally falling off the building, and it's my understanding that they're replacing that. They're, re excuse me, replacing those letters. Um, with that said, as far as fire apparatus at that building, there are no first-line response vehicles in that building. There are second-do apparatus in that building. Uh, that was a decision made um, a couple of times now by the fire chiefs, and we discussed this in open forum here in this board um, I believe at our last meeting, and I don't think uh, we're revisiting anything that we haven't already discussed, unless I'm mistaken. Um, the Chiefs had made a decision to move the first line apparatus up to the Highland Mills Fire Company uh, because they had enough members there to respond to man the apparatus when needed, and there had been uh, too many occurrences prior to that at Station 2 in which there were demands on the apparatus that were unable to be met simply because they didn't have enough people. Uh, they didn't have drivers for the apparatus. Um, so did, they, did I answer your question? Uh, yes. Okay. Just make sure the mic's on, Ray. Sure. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. Um, and then um, uh, with regards to rumors of Central Valley being shut down as a, as a firehouse, sure. um, is that a decision that the village board is responsible for or has a say in it um, or is it the Central Valley uh, Fire Department okay. or whoever owns that building? Sure. Okay. The village of Woodbury has a long-term lease for the use of that building. That's why the fire department can use it to have vehicles in it, whether they're first or second line uh, apparatus. Um, there is no plan that we've discussed. There is no plan that's been discussed at the fire department level to shut down that company, uh, to shut down Central Valley Fire Company, to shut down Station 2, uh, to eliminate that as a building within the fire department. Right. Okay. There have been discussions of the warrant board who makes these decisions uh, to change the way in which the fire department itself uses the different stations. Uh, no decisions have been made by that warrant board. Uh, once they did make a decision, I'm quite certain they would come to us for approval of that decision, uh, uh, or at least concurrence of that decision, but no decision's been made. No, there's been discussions amongst the warrant board as to exactly how they're gonna utilize that building. Right, okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's all I had, thanks. Anybody else before we wrap it up? Going once, going twice, going three times. Okay, uh, buddy, you have anything? <laughs> I have nothing tonight, thank you. Neil? And, well, it's just a comment on what was just discussed is social media plays an important role, I think, in our society. However, if rumors are started and are 
built upon, that becomes the truth. And people who are really, truly interested should come to the source. They should go, they should come here to this board or to another official source, not start rumors and not continue rumors going around. That only tends to inflame uh, individuals in the community, provides them with misinformation, and while it is an important source of information, it is often an inaccurate source of information. And uh, I have nothing further. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank the Town of Woodbury and the Woodbury Fire Department for an absolutely fabulous fireworks display on Saturday night. Uh, you know, everybody that I talk to, whether they're in Woodbury or even from outside of Woodbury that goes to the fireworks, and this year in particular, said it was the best show they've ever seen. Those were some of the quotes that I've heard. It was just an absolutely great show, very long, uh, very well done, and, uh, and a lot of fun. Really, it was a great show. So thank you. Does. Yeah, to piggyback on that, not many people understand or know how that type of display is uh, funded. The town of Woodbury currently contributes $5,000 towards that. The Highland Mills Fire Company themselves, not the village, the company itself contributes $5,000 towards it. And then um, I make a phone call to Steve Newhouse, and he chips in $4,999 in case anybody wants to know what that check there is for. We're trying to figure out how to deposit it. So uh, that's how that, so it's a $15,000 fireworks show. I unfortunately was not here this year for it, but I hear it was absolutely beautiful and that even though there was parking issues, everyone was able to see it. I heard Sandy had a great view from her house. We're all going to go there next year. <laughs> but no, it's, it's, a, it's an absolute full community event. And, uh, it's, and Rob with the touch of truck, I heard, right. was um, superb. That just gets bigger and better every year. Um, all of the trucks that uh, kids can get up close and touch, and I think he lets them sit in them too, if I'm mistaken. And honk the horn. And honk the horn and whatnot, which is really cool for like a, a, a young child to be able to sit in a fire truck or a garbage truck or a highway truck or whatnot. So it's a great community event once again. We have a great community, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to grow bigger and better and, and all get along. Thank you. I concur on the fireworks and the touch of truck. I thought it was a nice event for the community, and uh, they were well attended, and the fireworks was great, as Tim pointed out. Uh, I really have nothing, but I do want to comment on something. Uh, at the last town board meeting, I'm not sure why, but my name was brought up. The uh, supervisor uh, said something to the effect <coughs> that uh, he was walking in the town hall, and I was walking out of town hall, and... Uh, uh, he asked me, oh, did you come to see me? And I said, no, I came to sign the payroll sheets. So my understanding is he had another version of what transpired that day. But believe me, what I'm telling you is exactly what transpired. I don't know. And maybe in Frank's world, that's the way it was. But in the real world, all I did, I come in every Friday <coughs> for the last 10 years and sign the payroll sheets. So anyway, I just wanted to set the record straight on that. Anyway, being that we have nothing else, so I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you and good night.